Hammer, glue, and screwdrivers. This is how the fifth graders' classroom looks like. Sounds amazing, but they are building a 10 foot long boat by themselves. The kids often have very little idea why they're learning different things, either writing or reading or math or science. It's, sometimes it's interesting to them, but rarely do they understand why. But here in Haley Elementary School, you may get the answer through this boat building class. But if you look at this wood, this is old growth, meaning probably 200 years old. This is old growth Douglas fir. John Rouse, right Captain John for the kids, came up with the idea of Boston Family Boat Building Program six years before. And in 2008, he realized his idea in Haiti Elementary School. My idea here is to create practical applications for the work they're learning in the classroom and to help them use those skills and see a real world use for them. So this is on a small scale, on a big scale they use it to go to high school, and a bigger scale they use it when they go to college, and it, it gives them a broader perspective on what education is about. For Rebecca Fleming, the class is the highlight of her fifth year in school. I like boat building because it's fun to have your friends to work with and to be able to build a boat and be able to get to sail it. She did actually take the boat, talk about the boat a lot. She explained every, told us everything she'd done each day in class. She was really excited to do it. She loved it. And the mathematics Rebecca learns in the boat workshop isn't the numbers or equations she writes on her math test paper, but something real. You need to learn fractions because nails, they're not the same size, and wood, you'd have to cut it for like an angle, so you'd have to measure the fraction before you cut it or else you mess up and you'd have to start a new one. Rebecca's dad agrees this is a really good chance for the kids to learn something different. I totally support it, you know, because I think every kid should do something like that. I think every kid should just go out and build stuff and plus at the end of the day they get to launch the boat in a pond and it's really exciting for them. Captain John says it takes teachers three years of instructions besides teaching the skills of building a skiff. In that application, another practical application of the skills, they're learning navigation skills, which is again math, geometry, measuring. They're learning harbor history, maritime history in Boston, which is part of the social studies they're supposed to learn. Principal of Haley Elementary School, Andrew Chows, says the boat building class has a positive effect in the MCAS exam. It's incredibly engaging. Um, it's physical work, it's tiring work, it's hard work, um, and where they may be reading or learning about a certain aspect of science, something that's going to be tested on the MCAS, I can't think of a better way to have that ingrained in their minds than by doing it through experiential learning. MCAS data shows that in the past four years, except for geometry, students in Haiti Elementary School are bridging the gap to the statewide average performance. In some projects, like management, they're doing better than other students in the state. Sherry Suchdeck, Boston Public Schools Elementary Mathematics Program Director, explains why the students can achieve such an improvement. Skills, their skills using tools, their skills in the mathematics. Um, I think it's a strong feeling of success and a feeling that I can do this, which builds students' belief in themselves that if I can do this, I can do anything, I can do more, I can go on in school, there's a purpose for being here. Back again. But Captain John is not the only person who helps the kids. Every Saturday, retired volunteers come to Humphrey Street Studios to refurbish the students' boats. The reason why we, we uh, work here, it, uh, it gives us something to do, it helps the kids out, and it makes us younger. <laughs> Painting a shimmer from outside to inside, this is the third boat that these volunteers have renovated this year, but they never get tired of it. The kids came to the launching, and then they looked under the seats to find their boat, and then they got in them and they rowed them around. You can see them rowing. When we finished making the boats, we had a lot of scrap wood. So I made some chairs out of them. 
and you missed one. they help each other. Where? I like boats, um, and I like the idea of improving the education and experiential learning for Boston school children. But what this program does is very special, I think, is gives adults an opportunity to relate to adults and to children and to accomplish something very good at the same time and to use skills that you have, woodworking that you enjoy doing, and to be engaged with boats. So it's all that combination coming together that makes us a wonderful volunteer program and opportunity. When the kids finally row the boats, these volunteers feel proud. These are going to be real three-dimensional objects. It gives kids a concrete example of the usefulness, the value of learning, that they create something that they can ride in and roll away in. I mean, that's kind of a big deal. Every year, the boat building class costs to $140,000 to pay for the building materials, sailing fees, staff salaries, and so on. Some of the money comes from the school's budget, and some of them comes from private and public foundations. But raising the money isn't an easy job for Captain John. <laughs> it's, I hate it. <laughs> it's not fun at all. At a minimum, you know, 7 times 20, you know, 7,000 times 20 people, but the reality is you have to ask 40 people to get 20 to give you some money because a lot of people are going to say no. And the hammer. But to think big, this class may change a kid's future. Like, you get opportunities from this because you know, if you probably get into like a, a certain school where you have to learn about materials and you would already used the materials before so you know more about it and you'd have to, well, you do better in that class because you already worked with them and you know how to work. Take kids and build a bow. You take kids away from the school frequently to experience other people and other places. That's, those are opportunities that help them understand the value of learning. Um, as they develop the boat, I think it's really strong for them and helpful for them as they go on, not just in their classrooms, but in their lives. So we really bring students together to think about building a boat, making a project that's going to come to life, and it's going to be because of their efforts and their daily efforts. This September, students are going to move their boat building classroom from here to Fenpire Marketing Center, which is located in downtown Boston. From there, students are going to enjoy the ocean view of Boston Harbor when they build a boat. And two more years later, four more schools are going to take the boat building class, which means more learning opportunities are waiting for students in Boston. Reported by Lu Sha Chen for BUTV from Haley Elementary School.